Hello everyone, welcome to day 8 of February Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is add digits. Here in this question we are given an integer number and we need to repeatedly add all the digits until the result has only one single digit. That simply signifies that the result turns out to be less than 10. In the end, we simply need to return that updated result. Let's try and understand it by an example. We have the element as 38. If you add 3 and 8 together, you get 11. When you add 11 uh, together, that means 1 plus 1, you get 2. And 2 is less than 10. As a result of which, you abort the process and return the result. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation that I have created for this. And I'll be talking about two approaches on how to go about it. So let's get started. It's an easy question guys and I hope most of you are able to do it by yourself. Add digits, lead code 258. So let's get started. Let's take the number as 197. And in the first go, let's follow the mathematical approach. What I'm going to do, I'll create a new variable. And this variable will hold the sum of all its digits. Uh, in the first go, I take the modulus by 10. What do I get? Modulus of this entire number with 10 gives me 7. So I, I add 7 to uh, my answer result. So 7 gets added. Next, what do I do? I simply divide this number by 10 since we have consumed the unitary position. When I divide this number by 10, what do I get? I get 19. Again, I follow the same process. I take the modulus by 10. What do I get? I get 9. 9 gets added to the answer. 9 plus 7 gives me 16. So this becomes 16. Also again, I'm going to divide this number by 10. This digit is also gone. The next element that I see is 1. I again uh, take the modulus by 10. What do I get? I get 1. And simply I add 1 to the result. When I add 1 to the result, what do I get? I get 17. Again, I follow the same process. I'll divide the number by 10. What do I get? I get 0. And we are done with the iteration of all the digits. The updated result happens to be 17 in nature, which happens to be greater than 10. That simply means you need to redo the entire thing on 17. So let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'll extract the unit position. How? By taking modulus of 10. When I take modulus of 10, what do I get? I get 7. So I store 7 in my result. So 7 gets added in my result. Again, I'll divide this number by 10 as a result of which this digit is gone. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 1. Again, we take modulus by 10. What do I get? I get 1. So 1 gets added to the result. And uh, following this, we'll simply uh, divide this number by 10. As a result of it, the updated number becomes 0. That means you have iterated over all the digits. What is the value stored in our result? The value stored in our result is 8, which happens to be less than 10. That means there is only single digit in the answer. As a result of which, we abort the process and return whatever value is held in the answer variable, which is 8. 8 is the result for 197, which is as expected. This is one possible way to solve this question. What is the other possible way? So let's get started and let's take the same number. Here we will do string manipulation instead of mathematics. So in the first go, I am going to create this input number into string format and I'll then iterate over character by character. So the first character that we see is 1. Uh, that means I'll simply create a new variable that will store my answer result and I'll add 1 to it. The next character is that I see is 9, I'll add 9 to it. The next character that I see is 7, I add 7 to it. This is pretty simpler than the previous one that we talked about. In totality, what does this give? This gives us 17. That means the updated number happens to be greater in nature, greater than 10 in nature. As a result of which we need to perform the same operation on 17 as well. So let's get started. Let's cast this number into string format. So uh, then so that we can iterate over all the digits one by one. The first number that we get is one. So the second number is seven. So the answer becomes one plus seven, which is eight. Pretty simple to understand. Add digits. Let's look at the coding part now. I have taken a new variable answer and I have stored number into it. I started a while loop. While it's true, what do I do? I uh, invoke the helper string method. I'll talk about the helper string when we'll walk through it. So it is responsible for adding all the digits 
and it will use the string manipulation approach and return the result so the answer gets updated with the sum of all the digits that are present in nums to start with and in case my answer turns out to be less than 10 i break the process and i simply return the answer now let's look at the helper method that i have uh, written here uh, it's simply responsible for adding all the digits together it iterates over all the characters one by one and add it to the add digits result variable pretty simple again and let's try this up it's it took five milliseconds mm -hmm. to run i'm not sure why let's walk through the other helper method that i used which is basically on mathematics so let's replace it and here i have iterated over one by one taking modulus of that number every time and with each iteration i divide the number by 10. i have replaced helper string with helper and let's try this up these two methods are exactly doing the same thing one using string manipulation another one using mathematics and here it took one millisecond uh, and it's faster than 99 percent of the cases i believe uh, casting this into an array is taking time which we are not doing over here this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye